Hey everybody, this is Linda and welcome to Lenny P's Place. Today I want to show you what I discovered about rag rugs. Um, I was watching Junk Journal Ideas, I believe, with Donna and uh, she was showing um, a rag rug that she had bought and that she was taking it apart and she was showing all the the different fabrics that she got in it. And I thought, man, I, I think I want to get one. <laughs> so I went over to Amazon and I chose a multicolored chindi. Is that the way you say it? Shindy or chindi rag rug. And so this is what I got. Now, I was a little disappointed because the one that they've had a picture of had a lot more color in it than the one that I bought. Well, I took some of it apart, so I'll show you. Let's see, I took it apart from this end. I'm sorry I can't get everything in. This was on the end, and I don't know why I kept it. I probably will get rid of that. Um, <clears throat> but as I unraveled these, I had a lot of black, which I don't even use black, but um, I had a lot of black and I was a little disappointed in that, but I thought, well, I can always throw some of the black away because there's no way I'm going to use it all because I don't ever, ever use black. But my, almost the entire rug, until you get down here, these are all just dark solid colors except for a few. I can tell that this has something in it, that has something in it, but these are all solid colors and they're just not all that great of a quality. They're just scraps, but um, I don't know what kind they are. Um, I thought at first that it was maybe um, I don't know, I think it's like a nylon stuff. Would it be nylon? And I'm sorry about my lighting. I've been fighting with my lighting all day. I'm going to leave that off. And maybe the sun will stay out long enough for me to show this to you. And maybe it won't. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was some type of uh, nylon or polyester. Or some, not polyester. I don't know what you call it. This one's kind of nice that was in there. It's kind of... A, got metallic threads running in it. But when I saw this one, I thought, well, maybe it's sorry. Or maybe some of them are. But um, I'm disappointed in what I got <laughs> out of my rug so far. This one has some metallic lines running through it. I think you can see those. And I have no idea what kind of... Uh, um, fabric this is. It's just old cheap scraps, I think, which is fine. I mean, it's scrap fabric. I understand that. But I'm going to show you the difference in this. And, and, and when I get down here and I take the rest of it apart, I know I'm going to find some uh, more um, fabrics that have designs on them and different colors in them. They're not all going to be solid like this end was. I should have started from this end. I probably wouldn't have been quite as disappointed. But anyway, now that I've showed you this one, I'm going to show you the one that I found at the thrift store. This one I paid, I think it turned, it came, it was like $13 altogether and it was prime. Uh, but with tax, I think it came to $13. This one I got for $2. And somebody had started to do something with this one. Uh, but they didn't do anything with it. But they started pulling out the fabrics to do something. But evidently it didn't work for them, so they quit. Because they pulled them all the way from one end to the other, and then they stopped. Um, and this was hanging up, so it's not been used for anything, but I want you to see the difference 
and the fabrics from just a little bit that I pulled off. Let me get this. Uh, I want to show you the end of it. Whoops, I'm hitting my glue bottles up there. Um, let me get this stuff out of the way. I don't have enough room here. Okay, this was the end of this. This was this end that I took off. You see what a, what a, how nice this is and how it's finished off? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I can't say for sure. This is a, like a cotton stuff here that's weaved through this cotton. Nice, thick, um, different colors of cotton thread. And this here is stringy more like... I don't know. It's a very thin stuff. You can, you, I can feel the difference more than I can show you the difference. This is much thicker. Um, but all down the middle and over here on this side, they started trying to pull things out. And whatever they were trying to do, they gave up. Which was lucky for me. I paid $2 for this. And this is, um, I'm pretty sure one of the um, silk rugs from India and I'll show you why these are definitely sorry sorry silk I've pulled tons of strings off but this was one one piece now had I not found this at the thrift store I probably would have been satisfied with the one that I got. But after I got this one, the other one is just practically, I hate to say it, but it's kind of like garbage. <laughs> and my, <clears throat> for some reason, my lighting is, is off today and my colors are off because this is actually like a, um, a turquoise blue. The orange is showing up. I mean, the, the mustard yellow is showing up. But this is showing up more like a purple or a gray. Um, so I'm just showing you the ones that I've already taken out. But this one's very thin. And it's like purple with some orange in it. And a little bit of kind of a periwinkle blue color there. Here's another piece. And the way these were wrapped, there's like, in each one of these, there's two pieces. It's not just one piece. There's like two pieces wrapped together. So it's like, you think you're unraveling one piece, but you're getting two. So, there's a huge difference in the, the feel of the fabric. And in the way that it's made. The way that the rug is, is put together. So, <clears throat> this one, I'll be keeping all the pieces. The other one, mm, I'm not so sure about it. I'll probably just put it away and not do anything with the rest of it. This one, I'm going to take apart. And I think that's about all I've done so far on this one. Let's do one. See if I can get this one out. They're a little bit harder to get out because they're put in so much uh, better than the weaving is is better. It's tighter. It's it's a different it's it's a different uh, technique. They're like weaved from both sides. 
and then you have to do the other side. Might take too long, you might not want to hang around and watch, but I just wanted to show you what we get here. Sorry, I'm out of frame. I won't be in just a minute. <laughs> just a minute, I'll be all the way back in. And the other thing I noticed is that they didn't just, uh, like on the other rug, they went over and then they just come back around. And this, this one, they didn't do that. They doubled up the fabric and they just went one time. And they didn't, they didn't start another row with this piece of fabric. If you <laughs> understand what I'm, what I'm trying to say, that might have been why whatever the girl or or the man or whoever it was that bought this rug was trying to do didn't work, is because of the way that it's weaved. Because it's not like the. Um, rugs that you get from like I don't know Amazon or Dollar General or wherever you can find one of these rugs that you can find them all over the place but um, most of them are done with this stuff that I've seen and this one is not this one is so much better it's a lot harder to get apart too I have to say see how thick that is that runs on both ends of this there's your <laughs> one way you pretty much know that it's <laughs> sorry silk <laughs> the other rug didn't do this <laughs> there's all the strings that come along with it you know so So here's this piece. This was a very wide piece. And then this is a different, see the difference in the print? This actually has little hearts on it. But they were both in the same row. And now you can't start another row of this Look at all that <laughs> you can't start another row of this until you cut these and then you can start pulling another row out the other ones are not like that they don't work that way you just keep pulling and pulling until you know it just keeps unraveling and this one see it won't do that it's woven different. Those are those are stuck together and they're not coming out until you undo every one of these things. So that is the difference. So all rag, rag <laughs> rugs or chindi or whatever you want to call them are not equal. And I didn't know that until I found this one at the thrift store. And the minute I saw it, I thought, oh, I'm going to get that because it was only $2. And then after I started looking at it, there's so many strings on this one where she was, whoever this had this was pulling them to get them out. Um, anyway, um, when I picked it up and started looking at it, I thought this is not anywhere near the same that I bought. So now it's possible I didn't go back and look, but you might find a silk rug from India on there, and then it would probably be probably like this one. But uh, I didn't. I didn't look on Amazon to see if they had any. I just, like I said, I went on there and I, I bought one that looked like the one Donna was using, but. And the one that they had a picture of, 
had just all kinds of, I mean, it looked like this. And then I got that, uh, I got it in the mail and it was, the colors were no, nowhere near what I thought they were going to be. So, yeah, I guess it's kind of hit or miss because the one Donna had had a lot of different colors in it, but I guess I just wasn't lucky enough to get a good multicolored one. I just got <laughs> one that wasn't so great. Now I got to do some cleaning up because unlike the other one, this one makes a mess. But that's okay. That's okay. All right. I guess that's it. I just wanted to show you the difference in those rugs. And um, here again, you can kind of see the difference in them, I think. This is the one from Amazon. And that's the one from the thrift store. So, yeah. All right, that's it. I want to thank you for stopping by and and uh, checking this out. And maybe it'll help you if you go looking for a rag rug. You won't make the same mistake as me, and you'll look around before you buy one. Make sure you're getting a good quality, because the one I bought, and I'm not saying you can't get one of good quality from Amazon, because I'm sure you can. The point that I'm making is, I didn't realize there was a difference until I found this one. So now you know, um, it might be worth it to spend a little more money and get a better one than the one that I've got. So with that said, I'm going to say goodbye for now and clean up this mess that I've made here. And I will talk to you guys later. Take care for now. Bye-bye.